Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a colorful spring haul in collaboration with Misguided. I picked up some really pretty floral prints and a lot more color than I usually go for. So I'm really excited to show you the pieces that I've picked up. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And we'll just get straight into it. So we're starting off with the dress that I'm wearing. I'm obsessed with this dress. I think it is my favorite piece from the haul, which is why I have it on. So it's in this beautiful Toile de Joy print. I think that's how you pronounce it. I absolutely love this print. I think it's so perfect for spring. You've got these really intricate details of the florals. It's like spring for florals, but not so in your face florals. I think this color is so beautiful. You've got the ivory and the blue. I think it just looks so much more expensive than what it was. And I also love that you can kind of pull the sleeves down and wear it off the shoulder if you want to. But then if you want to wear it on the shoulder, you can also do that. This is actually in a size UK 6, which is not actually my size. It was just an error. So I was actually meant to get a UK 8, but this happened to be a UK 6. So I'm surprised it fits me. I think a UK 8 probably would have been a better fit, but this is still so beautiful on. I love the buttons it has going down the dress I think that just adds something extra to the dress it has a little slit going down and this dress is just so gorgeous I can't wait to wear this on a picnic day just going for a walk in the park it's just one of those really pretty dresses that you can reach out for when the sun is out and you just want to look really cute it's also giving me very Bridgerton vibes so that for me makes it one of my favorite pieces Okay, so still on the theme of dresses, because for me, dresses are one of my favorite things to wear in spring. They're just really easy. You don't have to think about the whole outfit. You just put it on and you're ready to go. I had to also pick up this dress. It's very similar to the dress that I'm wearing now, except that it's in this really pretty floral print. So you have these pink flowers with green leaves. You guys know I love a neutral wardrobe, but I don't know what it is, I feel like being in lockdown for so long and now we're finally able to come out and the sun is shining. I just want to play with some colour, mix it up a little bit. So I think this is really perfect for if you do love your neutrals but you still want a little bit of colour. This is gorgeous because I would still consider this like a neutral dress except that it has like the pop of pink and a little bit of green running through it. And I just know this dress is going to be one of my go-tos for spring as well because it's just super flattering on and it's such an easy dress to style. I feel like it's not too in your face florals. I just like how it's spaced out so you can still see a lot of the white background of the dress and then you've got the florals running through it. I paired it with my coach green tabby bag because I wanted to bring out the greens in this dress and then I've just got my Hermes Oran sandals just to balance out the neutrals. But I absolutely love that you can just wear like a pop of color with this dress. So you could even go with a pink bag. I think that would look super cute. And then next up we have another dress. This one is slightly different. It's a wrap style dress and it's in this green color with white detail going across it. I just thought again, this was a really nice easy dress to wear. I also love wrap over style dresses. I find that they're very flattering on all body shapes, body types. So these are perfect for when you're going on a lunch date. Um, you can even wear this in the evening with a pair of heels. I love that about wrap dresses. You can definitely wear them during the day with a pair of trainers or sandals and then in the evening dress them up with a pair of heels. Again, I feel like although it's a little bit of color, it's still in that neutral zone. So if you still aren't comfortable with trying out more colors, I definitely recommend trying something like this. This is another dress that I am in love with. I think it is so flattering and just such a beautiful dress. I love that the sleeves come kind of midway down so they're not a short, short sleeve. I just think the cut of this sleeve and the length that it stops at makes this dress just look really classy. It's a wide neck opening. I feel like if I went out, I'd probably just get a pin 
or like maybe close it a bit more here um just because that's my preference overall this dress is so gorgeous and i really love this print it's not something that i would usually go for but i just feel like it's really nice and really fun and as i said it's a wrap style dress so i think it's really flattering and basically the string goes inside the dress and then out so it's really secure once you've tied it up on the side and then it kind of falls down like a waterfall style is that even a name but it feels like a waterfall style i think the way that it just falls down i've styled it with my brown balenciaga hourglass bag and then my hermes orange sandals i just feel like brown is a really nice color to pair with this kind of deep green dress and yeah i just really think this is such a flattering dress and super cute for spring <music> And then we have a top. I feel like there's kind of a theme running through this video. There's a lot of like Bardo style tops and corset style tops, but I think they're really in trend at the moment. And again, I think they're very flattering and easy to style. So I had to pick up this cotton blouse. It's got the same kind of Bardo style top. It's got the ruching here, and then it comes down into a corset. And I think this would look amazing tucked into a pair of wide leg trousers. And because it's white, you can wear them with any color trousers, white, gray, blue, pink, whatever you fancy. And this is also the kind of top that you would wear when it's like a jeans and a nice top kind of vibe you can still look really nice and put together so this one for me is super versatile and I can't wait to wear it and style it up okay so this is the top on and I think it is just so beautiful again it's another very flattering top I think anything that has this bit kind of exposed just makes it really beautiful especially for springtime and this cotton material as well is really nice and lightweight so although you've got the long sleeves it's still very cooling so you can wear it on a warm summer's day I've paired it with a pair of high-waisted grey trousers just to like change it up a little bit and this is a very neutral Nuri outfit. I think this would look amazing with a pair of blue jeans as well but I've dressed this one a little bit more as if we were going on an evening date, like a dinner date. This would be really cute. I have left this bit out because I just feel like it gives the illusion of like an hourglass waist. So you could tuck it in and it looks like this tucked in which I think is also very nice. I just think these kind of tops pair beautifully with high-waisted trousers. I'm going to put this bit out though because I feel like it's a really nice detail and it kind of gives that cool set vibe and it's just very flattering. this cute little three-piece set you have the mini skirt a little crop top and then the shirt to go over and I can imagine wearing this on a holiday this was giving me major holiday vibes when I saw it online and I also love that you could wear all pieces separately so you have this beautiful cotton shirt which would be amazing as a beach cover-up but also tucked into a, like a white pair of trousers would look so beautiful and then the crop top as well you could wear it on its own with a pair of wide-legged white trousers and then also the skirt so I love that you have one outfit when you wear them all together but then you have so many different outfit options for each individual piece again it's like a pastel-y purple so it's not too bright and in your face so if you are someone who loves your neutrals this is also another color that's kind of really easy to wear and style up okay so unfortunately for this outfit the skirt didn't fit me because basically the skirt is made in this cotton material so it has no stretch to it and my issue is just getting it past my bum like it would have fit perfectly around the waist that would have been all good but it's just actually getting it past there and the skirt was not budging so I would suggest if you're like me and you kind of have a small waist but a big bum um, probably size up so I got a UK 10 in the skirt but there's zero stretch so it doesn't go past my butt area so I would recommend sizing up because with the skirt it would have been such a cute vibe yeah so this is how it would have been with the skirt I think it's just such a cute little set I just had to make it work without the skirt and pair it with a white pair of high-waisted trousers but I feel like the bralette and the shirt together are a vibe in itself I really like the look of this it's in this really nice pastel purple color 
um, and I think that's just like a spring colour. The shirt, I sized up a size, so I got a UK 12 because I wanted it to be oversized and kind of give you that boyfriend shirt effect. And I love having it kind of off the shoulder a little bit. Right now, this weather is kind of weird. When you're in the sun, it's really warm. And then when you're in the shade, it's freezing. So like this little cold is perfect for that because when it's warm, you can just kind of flex your shoulders, you know, have it out. And then when it does get cold, you know, wrap up. I don't have anything like this and it's not something that I would usually go for like this colour but I'm trying to experiment this spring summer and I'm trying to incorporate more colour into my wardrobe and these pastel colours are perfect for that. And then lastly we have this beautiful bardo style corset top it's in the same print as this dress and i'm obsessed with this print it gets, it's giving me very dior vibes so this is in a pink and a cream color it has the same style as the white one i think these are actually the same so yeah as i said with the white one i think these look perfect with trousers i'm kind of envisioning this with a white pair of trousers tucked in that's how i would wear it it's so beautiful and I feel like, again, this can be dressed up and down. I also love how the sleeves are cuffed in the middle and then at the end, it really creates that balloon sleeve vibe and I think that that's what makes it look very expensive. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have this corset bardo style top. Again, in my favorite print. I think this print is just so perfect and it's in this really pretty pink color. I've paired it with the high-waisted white trousers and a little pop of green with the Bottega bag. I feel like when you go for these like pastel-y colours or like these neutral pink colours, you can really mix and match any colours you want with them. It just looks really fun and playful. I love that about spring and summer. You can just colour block if you want, add in whatever colours you like, which is why I've gone for this kiwi colour bag. This top is so, so flattering. I've tucked it in because that's just the look I was going for. But again, you can obviously have the corset bit sticking out. But I think with these trousers, they're a little bit gappy on me, so it doesn't stick out as nicely. If these were tighter, look, you're getting the vibe. But these trousers are a little bit big on me. But yeah, you could also wear it out like this. Again, if you really want some exaggerated puffy sleeves, you could definitely wear it off the shoulder because this tightening at the front allows you to tighten it. So it's very secure on and then if you pop the sleeves off it kind of just gives you this really really cute off the shoulder look Okay, so that was everything that I picked up from Misguided. Let me know what you thought about this haul in the comments down below and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!